Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>
Just look at them pounding the snow back. You know, they can have water right in front of them, and but they'll eat the snow. It's sort of like when you're a kid, you know, uh, eating snow was so much fun. I wouldn't suggest that today, eating snow, uh, the amount of pollution we have, but I know when I was a kid, I ate a lot of snow. It was like candy. Calorie-less uh, can candy. Looks like everybody's uh, enjoying this nice day. All right, I'm going to go in and do egg recon and uh, see what they've given us or, you know, see how much they've eaten. Uh, I don't see any eggs out here today at all, though. I just walked in from outside, and it's so bright outside that right now it's pitch dark to me. Uh, my, my eyes haven't adjusted. But uh, let's we'll see what we got for eggs here. I don't know. There's only two ducks I can see inside here. A uh, duck and two ducks and a chicken. Two ducks and two chickens. Not a lot of egg action here. Like I said, the, the molt, I think we got another wave of molt happening. Oh, there's two eggs. Look out there, girl. Got two eggs down underneath here. Oh, there's one buried. Uh, the egg situation has really dropped off here. But that's uh, to be expected this time of year. Because uh, when they turn back on... Uh, like I said, I was talking to that duck breeder guy that I'm talking to about the incubator and he was telling me that when they turn on, uh, look out, this many females, I could be getting 50 eggs a day. So, and that's a lot of eggs. It's just about I didn't have an incubator that could handle, you know, 1,500 eggs. Uh, today is, I think, the worst egg day yet. Yeah. What do we got? Five duck eggs and four chicken eggs. That is the worst one yet. It's uh, and I don't see any broken yolk anywhere. Yeah, it's that the molt, and I see a whole bunch of new feathers. I don't know if you can see. I'll get down a little closer here. There's even rowan feathers starting to appear. You know, there's rowan feathers. Should I get that? Yeah, there. And also we got rowan feathers appearing, I got white feathers. So there must be another wave of ducks having the molt. So that's egg recon today. So I'm going to uh, finish off the water and then I'm going to go up and take care of uh, Miss Iscovy in the hospital here. I just came over here to uh, give the drakes some more food in their feeder. I just want to show you here. It's still showing minus nine over here in the shade with, and there is a wind. You know, see what the wind's like here. Yeah. So it's still in the shade, it's still pretty cool. But I know out in the sun it's gorgeous. And the drakes are, all the drakes are out. So it's warm enough that even the Muscovies are out, which they, you know, they predominantly, uh, you know, the drakes stay inside. Uh, but they're out now with some beautiful big ducks though. Ooh. Hey guys, pretty soon you're gonna be with the females and it's gonna be non-stop mating. Exciting stuff. What a difference when it's nice out. All the duckies are out and they're quacking and they're really tormenting the males though. Pretty soon they're gonna be back together. Uh, it, I, according to what the duck breeder guy told me that I've been talking to, uh, he recommends for 69 females, 11 males uh, is recommended. So 16 males was a little too much. Um, so it might only be, you know, two Muscovies and, you know, three Pekings. You know, they, I have to come up with the right ratio yet, but... They're just really active today with the, uh, the warmer weather coming. Oh, look at this. The old females. The ruins, uh, not, uh, waiting for me to get out of the way here. They're going right at the water. Oh, girls, you're so cute. You love the water, don't you? Don't you? They can get out so much easier. Yes, court me. They just love the water. You guys, the girls are so cute. All right, I'm going to go and uh, take care of Miss Iscovy now. Poor little girl. Oh, she's going to go back in. I'm, that ramp, I, I should have, you know, I really screwed up when I designed this top. I made the ramp way too, way too steep. 
You can see like she even walks into the water. This bathtub was a like bar none the uh, the best thing I did with these ducks. One, it's easy to clean. Uh, it's unbelievably easy to clean. It's it's the, you know it uses next to no power. Uh, you know to stay not frozen. I should say not to get frozen. Uh, screwing up here on my English, but the ducks. Uh, I couldn't imagine uh, having ducks without a bathtub actually. They just they are they're in it so much cleaning themselves and they really do seem to enjoy it. All right, I'm gonna go uh, deal with Mrs. Poor Miss Ice Covey. Well, this is the uh, the end of the uh, Pivot Head High Definition Video Glass uh, series on the contest to win a pair of High Definition Video Glasses from Fifty Ducks in the Hot Tub. And today's uh, code is gonna be a two part code. First part's right here right now. And the second part is going to be later in the video. It's a two-part code today, and it's sort of the grand finale uh, video. So don't forget, when you get your two parts, uh, once you've got the both words you need for today's code, use the link below uh, the video to enter the contest. Don't forget to thumbs up the uh, the ducklings. We the, we really need some boost here this week. It's been a rough week. And leave your comment below the video, please. And, uh, you know, the ducks appreciate your support. Uh, the last 20 videos has been great, and uh, you know the response has been fantastic. So, well, later on in the video, uh, we'll get the uh, the second part of the code today. Well, it's time to uh, take care of Miss Iscovi here, poor little girl. I'm. Um, I just wish she would start eating on her own and drinking. It's it's got me really really worried. So we're gonna. Uh, I've mixed up a uh, another mixture of food for her. And uh, I've got some antibiotics here and I'm going to throw little pivot heads on and we'll get uh, going here with the treatment with the poor little thing. But you know, like we, she does, she can't stand. So, you know, there is an improvement. It, it's just that she just refuses to eat. I, I don't understand it. I don't know how a duck could be getting better and standing up but not interested in food or water. You know, unless she's totally still, her mind is in the, uh, you know, the mindset of uh, brooding and... Uh, you know, she's just still on shutdown now. She does keep going into corners and sitting there and, you know, who knows how much longer it's going to take for her to snap out of it. So I'm going to get uh, the pivot heads on here and I'll uh, get the mixture happening. Well, I want to correct something here. Uh, I, when I was editing uh, the videos, I realized that I said something wrong in the videos. And I know someone's going to someone's got to pick up on it. But the mixture here that I've made up is not 100 grams. It's I've been giving her 100 grams. Actually, it's about 95 grams in total during the whole day. Um, each one of these uh, mixtures is actually 29.8 uh, some grams. It's 30 grams, uh, the three teaspoons uh, of ground up uh, pellet dust uh, with mixed in with 100 milliliters of water. So, you know, I'm not jamming down four ounces, you know, 100 uh, grams of, uh, you know, uh, food down her in one shot. That would be that would be foie gras or uh, you know, gavage, uh, but uh, we're not doing that. Uh, I'm actually, you know, giving her a little bit of feed. It's like you know, one ounce of feed basically, uh, just to get something into her and some moisture. I've got the antibiotics here, and uh, we're going to give it to her. Uh, you know, now she needs to get something into her. Like uh, it's been, uh, trying to think here. It's it's been about 16 hours since she's had water or food, so she's got to be needing something. Uh, and I don't know. I don't understand why she's refusing to eat or drink. It's got me completely baffled. So let's, uh, I'm going to catch her and uh, we'll give her the treatment. All right, I've caught her. Now let's just take a look here. All right, that open wound from yesterday is now closed. It's no longer, oh, she ever fighting. Now I'm just looking here. The dead scab, oh, relaxed. Oh, she's really kicking that foot. The dead scabs are falling off. The dark spots here, I'm just looking. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's like it's peeling off the skin, the scab. It's like she's, uh, it's healing, but uh, that other foot looks nasty. But it's, it's, it's turning, you know, it's turning the right color. It's starting to get yellow again. And, uh, like I can see the scab actually breaking off. Yeah, you know, I'll just show you here with one finger. Hang on, little girl. I'm not going to do anything yet. We're just taking a look at you. On this foot here, yeah, like there's, oh, the nail's coming right off. That's what it is. She's losing her nails, but, uh, you know, they, they, they can lose them and get them back, so. Come on, girl, is your foot? Oh, 
Yeah, our feet look bad. Oof, poor little thing. But they're not dead. You know, they've got color to them. They're just not, uh, oh, you know, not Clayton, you know, I always say it's easier to, said than done culling them, you know, and I don't want to do that. Uh, I'd like to see if I can save the poor little thing. Oh, little duck. All right, let's get the antibiotics down here. Like I said before, it's much easier feeding the tube down the side of their mouth into their neck. Well, there. Now that's the antibiotic. We'll just let her a bit of a break here. The back of her neck's awful dirty. Hey, girl. All right. Let's get some food into you. She fights a lot more. Now this is just like, you know, it's such a little amount of food. It's not a lot of food we're giving her. You know, like an ounce of, uh, you know, 30 grams of pellets ground up is, is not a lot. It's not a lot at all, actually. Hey, girl. We'll just wait a few seconds here and I'll get back to you. All right. I've given her... Uh, but it's been about but it's been about three minutes here, so I don't like jamming too much down her at once. Relax, girl. We gotta get to keep you the strength going here so you don't get diarrhea on us again, because if you don't eat, that's what's gonna happen. Do you wanna get diarrhea? Oh diarrhea little girl. I don't want you to get diarrhea because diarrhea is basically death for a duck. All right, it's been uh, about uh, two, three minutes here. She really hates this now. Um, uh, I don't blame her, but like we got to get her food into her, and it's the only way, you know, to make sure, you know, that she doesn't just starve herself to death here in the hospital. You know, until she gets her strength back, until she's walking around completely normal and we see her drinking water and playing in the water because she, that's another thing she hasn't done. She hasn't played in her water, oh, it's got to be six days now. Like, and usually she's, you know, relax, duck. Usually it's about six days, or not six days, usually, uh, you know, she's playing in her water all the time. You know, dunking her head and, you know, she's doing none of this duck stuff. But she's definitely got strength in her foot. Like, it is a... Uh, She's definitely uh, not the same weak duck she was six days ago. So she's just hating me. I want you to think about something, folks. You know, the uh, the foie gras, you know, the, uh, the gavage they do and they stick the big giant tubes down the duck's throat. Uh, you know, they use, you know, they use hard rods or hard tubing. They use, you know, big, uh, big, much bigger soft tubing. And they, you know, they, they feed the ducks, you know, two times, three times a day more than they normally would eat uh, you know I've, I've read it's like four times as much food as they would normally eat now if you think about this miss iscovy you know has been conditioned to you know to put up with me uh and actually she she accepts me pretty good and you know we've been feeding this little tiny syringe you know like a little tiny 25 milliliters at a time through a little tiny tube so it's like you know a trickle down her throat it, we're not, uh, you know, stuffing her full. We're not, uh, you know, packing it into her. Uh, we're not feeding her till she pukes, and she hates it. So imagine what those poor little ducks uh, go through uh, in the foie gras factories. Uh, you know, getting force-fed like that every day. Um, it's got to be just horrible for them. It's got to be. It's got to be. After seeing what this poor little girl's going through, uh, me feeding her, you know, this little amount of food to keep her going through a little tiny, tiny syringe. You know, um, I can't imagine what those ducks go through um, because she hates me now. And she never hated me like this before, you know, and uh, I feel bad for the ducks, you know. Uh, they'd have to go through that just so people can have, you know, fatty liver on their plate. They only knew what the poor animal goes through. I think a lot of people, well, you know, probably is most of them wouldn't care because... Most people just don't give a crap about animals, it seems. All right, I'll just let her sit a little while here, and uh, then we'll give her some more water. And I, I'm just worried about this not drinking. Uh, you know, is it, 
if she gets dehydrated, uh, you know, she could get really sick on us here. All right, relax, girl. Oh, I know. She, she hates me. One more water, girl. Come on. Come on. Oh, pretty soon, if you start eating, you don't have to go through this. All right, so I'm giving her the last water. Uh, and this is it for to, for this morning. I'm not going to come back till later today, uh, near the end of the day. Because I'm only doing this twice a day. I figure, you know, the... Uh, the moisture in the uh, the mixture here, which is about 75 milliliters of water by volume, uh, because it measures 100 milliliters with the with the 30 grams of dust in here, plus the 50 milliliters I give her here. You know, she's getting about 125 milliliters of water twice a day from me. Um, so that's got to be uh, you know enough to keep her hydrated, plus the food. And all we can hope for is that uh, you know she starts getting better. Well, she is getting better. She is getting stronger, but for some reason she refuses to eat and refuses to drink and she just lays around but she can walk uh you know we'll just show here come on duck can you get up yeah see she just she can get up there oh yes look at that she's standing up oh, and she's mad oh ducky you're standing i hope this works all right so that's uh miss iscovy's uh morning treatment what a difference. Look at her. She's standing up. I wish I had the other camera. I could give you a shot from a side here. Uh, oh, duck. You're standing. That's so cool. She's coming back to life. But it's just bizarre that she won't eat. You know, she she's getting her strength back like this and uh, won't eat. Doesn't make any sense. I just got to show you these ducks, man. You give them dirty water. And, uh, I've already cleaned this out once. I gotta clean it out again today, but it's just disgusting water that they're playing in and uh, you know blown bubbles. But uh, oh, there's the second code. Uh, the second part of the code today is right there uh, beside it. Uh, so it's a two-part code today. And uh, oh man, that's just filthy what they're doing. But uh, I'm gonna. I gotta. I'm just gonna uh, do some scraping here today. But so there's gonna be a. Um, a slight delay uh, in me doing the contest uh, draw this week. I got a curveball thrown at me. Um, anybody that's been watching my channel over the last couple of years, you know that I, uh, you know, a year and a half ago there, I had a problem with the town and my business, and they basically ran me out of town, and uh, well, they bankrupted my business and shut me down and uh, sued me. Uh, I just couldn't afford the legal bills. Um, municipalities and, and elected officials, nasty people. But uh, I just had a bomb dropped on me on Thursday. I didn't even know it. I got to go to court on Tuesday now. Uh, they're trying to... to uh, basically steal my home uh, i guess they feel that uh, you know i'm unemployed and lost my business that uh, homeless is the next thing they need to do to to make the town officials feelings feel better for what i did to them and which is basically just called them out on the carpet and told them what i thought of them but uh, you know sticks and stones will break my bones and but words will never hurt me it doesn't apply in uh, municipal politics um, so anyways uh that's my curveball this week so I've got to go and uh, take care of this, but as soon as I get that uh, taken care of, I'm going to come back and I'm going to uh, do the draw, and uh, you know we'll video it for you guys to see who's the winner. And don't forget, uh, thumbs up the video, leave your comment below, and use the link below the video to enter with the two-part code today. But I'm, uh, I've just been taking it easy here and having me out here with the duckies today. Hello, ducks! We're going to get your water happening here, so you have some fresh water. And this is the last, well tonight's minus 16 tonight, it's only like minus 8 here right now, it's actually quite nice out, uh, but it's, uh, the weather is like seriously turning nice. Oh, look at them, they're coming out, they can hear my voice. Hello, ducks! Hello, duckies! It's so funny how they answer me. You know, I, I don't know if they just do it because, you know, the, you know, hello duck is a quack to them. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> Let's go in uh, to the barn and uh, see what's going on in there. There seems to be a lot of activity in the barn. You can hear them quacking in there. Hello, ducks! How is everybody? Oh, the scope is trying to fly. 
<laughs> well, they're all heading out because I guess they know I'm getting the hose out. Scobies. I, uh, they should be growing their new uh, wing feathers back and they can get back to flying. Actually, they're trying to fly here. I'm so sorry I had to cut your wings. Man, that really pisses me off. Sorry for the language, but I, I just so mad. I, I, I really wanted to have this spring them fly into the lake. But hey, by the time summer gets here, they'll be flying. Late summer, they'll be flying, and uh, we'll get some footage of them whipping down to the lake. All right, let's go outside and uh, get the hose happening here for them and get the uh, flurry of activity that the duck always give us uh, when we get the water out because they uh, they love fresh water. Right, ducks? Uh, they're all out. Look at this. They all come outside. All right, I'm going to uh, turn the camera off here and uh, get the hose out and we'll get some water action for the duckies. Come on. Oh, the ducks, they're all coming out uh, because I got the hose here. They just love when I get the hose out. I'm just uh, over there, I'm just looking over there at the amount of ice they're eating. They're crazy about eating ice. You silly ducks. Oh, there's the one that uh, Miss Eye Infection, Miss Nasty. Right there's Miss Nasty. And her eyes look great. All right, let's get this hose happening here. All right, the ducks are uh, chiseling off the uh, the cement off the side of the barn. Uh, silly ducks, they're eating my barn. Don't worry, pretty soon we'll have grit. Again, you know, you'll be able to eat the ground. You know, even though it's nice out, uh, you know, the wind is just still nasty. Look at this there. You know, there's a little bit of water there in the ground and they're just going crazy. The warmer weather's coming. Tomorrow's supposed to be zero, boys and girls. Zero. Oh, tonight's the last cold night. Minus 16 and then it's over. It's going to be like minus 10, the coldest, and uh, zero. And actually, the one day, I think this week, it's uh, like five degrees. So uh, it's, it's the warm weather's coming. Think positive. The days are getting warmer every day. They're getting longer. The sun's getting stronger. And pretty soon, we'll be out in the lake, out there. You know, it's just solid ice out there right now. But pretty soon, I, I can't wait. This year's going to be so much fun with the ducks out there in the water. Look at these crazy ducks over here. The uh, the Roens, they're uh, eating ice. They're over there eating ice. And it's bizarre. They're you know they eat the icicles that drop off the roof. I'm gonna go ahead and see what the uh, the drakes are doing in the uh, the duck shack. Oh, I got a scoby there at the doorway. Still not that nice here, or it's like minus nine. It's gonna to go to minus 16 tonight. Oh, we got another one here. They're guarding the doorway. What are you guys doing? You're not letting anybody in here? Whew! Still cold out. Oh, heat lamps just came on. All right, guys, <coughs> go over there and land the heat. How is your food? Oh, well, you got enough for tonight. Pretty soon it'll be warm. The poor ducks, you know, these, these drinks. They stand here and just go nuts all day. They stick in their head through it, you know. Don't worry, guys. Pretty soon you'll be going uh, with the females. Well, most he is. There's going to be some that are not. They're sticking their heads uh, through the wire there. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, and trying to grab the females.
<laughs> oh, look at that. They're over there getting the water. <laughs> they love fresh water. I'd love fresh water too. I wouldn't want to be drinking and swimming in dirty stuff all the time. Look how white that one is. There's a beautiful white duck right there. Oh, pretty soon this whole cold winter will be over. Once the warmer weather gets here, I can get the pen light back on and the ducks can, uh, you know, be out a little later. But this cold weather, I don't want the ducks out. It's just too cold to have the lights on that late. The ducks, they're uh, so funny here. I'm standing here with the hose and they're, uh, they're wasting no time over there. Yeah, they're little funny uh, females, you know. They're... Yes, ducks, I know. They just love their tub. And they really love when it's fresh water. Well, I'm going to round up the holes and uh, call it a night.